Hello, and welcome to the Secret of Samadhi channel. Today, we'll look at a new inspirational tale that will teach us a lot. Master Hakuin was highly respected and loved by all the villagers who showered him with gifts and food whenever he visited without him having to request it many years ago on the outskirts of Japan. The villagers were benevolent to him until a young girl from the village became pregnant. The young girl was a disgrace to her family and unmarried. When the girl had given birth, her parents asked her, Now that your kid is in the world, can you tell us who the father is? The girl, petrified, decided to name the child. Drawing strength from somewhere deep inside her core, she announced, The baby I had is Master Hakuin's son. The girl's father became enraged when he found out what happened and quickly gathered a group of people from the village. He then went to the house of the man who had enslaved her, but that man was seemingly unaware of any wrongdoing. The same people who had previously admired and loved the master now despised and hated him for abandoning a young woman and her child as soon as they heard about it. They raised Hakuin's house and beat him until he was in severe pain. This kid is yours. Take him with you and raise him, others around yelled. Ha Queen then said, Yes, he is my son. I will take him with me. He sang to the child to calm him down, and without another word took the son with him while the young woman returned home. On the second day, a teacher with an infant went out on a house-to-house -house tour in the hopes of obtaining food, but was met with insults and slammed doors. He went until he reached the home of the baby's mother. When the teacher opened the door, she said to the woman, Please give me something to eat. If you don't want to give me anything, that's okay too. But at least give me some milk for the baby. I may have been wrong, but what is this creature's fault? The baby screams and the woman, feeling guilty, throws herself at her father's feet. She says, I'm sorry, father. I lied when they asked whose child it was. I said ha queen to protect the real father but I realize now that was a mistake. The poor girl's father came after him, begging for forgiveness and asking the master why he did not deny being the kid's father when he was accused of it. That's right, said the old woman. By then it was late and you had already destroyed my house. This child had to belong to someone. What would have been the difference? It would have been another individual, or you would have destroyed my home. The citizens of this village have shamed you, insulted, and alienated you. You said nothing, which shows that you don't care about yourself or your reputation. Why? If I had been more worried about you respecting me, I wouldn't have understood. 
why you were condemning me in the first place. You were a wounded person, and if you never respected me until today, but now no longer do, it indicates that I formerly deserved your respect and that I no longer do so today. I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. I can't care whether I'm being treated well or badly because then I'd have to stop living the way I want to and feel good. I live by the idea of what feels right to me, and I think you should too. Everyone does. But aren't you concerned about whether or not you're a respectable guy? Someone said your good name had been ruined. Everyone regarded you as a terrible individual, according to rumors. The master replied, It does not matter to me whether you see me as good or bad. I'm simply myself. I have given up on the idea of good and evil. I have no desire to become good or bad just to please others. Letting you believe whatever you want is easier than trying to prove otherwise. Our journey has come to an end, but we've certainly learned a lot along the way. This story has made us think long and hard about how often we put others' needs before our own. We do things to receive recognition and feel respected, even if it means sacrificing our true selves in the process. From now on, let's do things because they make us happy, not because other people want or expect us to do them. Only then can we achieve peace of mind and happiness. How about you? The actions you take every day. Are they dictated by the judgments of others? Or do you act according to your own way of seeing? Let us know in the comments. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new stories. Activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive notifications of new videos coming out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Namaste. Buddha blesses you.